Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be creating a custom profile. Now before I jump into it, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what custom profiles are. Um, they are different object level securities that you can put on a user's user account so then they can see, let's say like they can only see accounts and opportunities but they can't see any cases. Or they can see cases and opportunities but they can't see accounts. You can also set the field level security on this. So let's say on an account, you want the user to be able to see the address for a mail campaign, but not the phone number to call them. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go in the quick find box and look for profiles. There we go, let's double click on that. All right, and we're gonna create new profile. And a lot of this is made easier, creating a new profile is made easier by copying an existing profile. So we're gonna copy the custom sales profile that we have, but rename it to be lead gen. So this is gonna be for our lead generation users. Um, and we want them to be able to do different things than a regular sales user. So let's go ahead and click edit now that we've created this custom profile. Okay, so these are our different custom apps that we have, and that's the first one that we've started off to. So we want them to have analytics studio and communities and content and have all this awesome stuff, but we don't want them to have service or service console. All right, moving down connected apps we have is Trailhead. We're not gonna click that. Um, so this is the different tabs that we have and this is within, not in the setup, but within the different apps, you can see the different tabs that you have. And you can see that these are sometimes hidden and default on. So you have default on templates, enhanced letterheads, accounts, Analytics, we're gonna change to default on. So the difference between all of these, so we have tab hidden, which means you can still access it, but the tab's just not gonna be there. Default off is that you won't have access to it, and default on is that you can see it. And then custom tabs, we're actually gonna turn off some of these custom tabs for our lead generation users except for account reassignment ownership. That's another video and I'll link it down below. That was a trailhead thing that we did where when one user left, the accounts that they were assigned to them would be reassigned. And that's something that we want our lead generation users to have. So let's say administrative permissions. We're actually gonna uncheck Apex REST services, uncheck content, we want them to be able to create and own new chatter groups, create and customize reports, create and customize list views, all that stuff kind of helps them. So general user permissions. I'm actually gonna leave this alone and then we're gonna go into standard object permissions. And one thing that you'll hear a lot about object permissions is CRED, which is create, read, edit, and delete. So for our different cred access, let's see, we want accounts. We want them to only have read and read access to assets. So let's go ahead and go down. We do not want them to have access to cases. Contacts, yes. Leads, definitely want them to have access to that. Opportunities price books, products, quick text, and solutions. So that's our standard objects. Then it goes down to custom objects permissions. And it looks like we don't want them to have any of those. And you can also set session settings and password policies. And we're just gonna leave this all in the default and click save. All right, now we've created our customized lead gen profile and where you'd go to 
edit that so you see it doesn't have any users. So let's go ahead and look for users. And go to users. So if we go and look at our integration user, so you have, they see that they have the analytics cloud integration user, you'd click edit and then there'd be a drop down list and you would select the lead gen profile to put them and they'll have those permissions that we just created. Thank you for watching how to create a custom profile. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and be sure to drop down in the comments and suggest videos that you want to see or that you think would be helpful for me to explain. I really appreciate when you guys do that for me. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next